the wind and the sun. This is a beautiful story, a children's tale, that is for everyone out there that's having a hard time getting through to others, helping others. And very simply, with a slight twist, there's a man walking down the road wearing a jacket. But we're going to say this is an enchanted jacket with a curse that's slowly killing him. The wind gets very worried for this man and says, oh, no, he's, we've got to get this jacket off him. And the wind blows to try to get it off. It startles the man and he holds it tighter. The wind blows harder and harder, but the harder and harder the wind blows, the tighter this man holds his ways in check. And the son just smiles and says, I got this. The one says, are you sure he's dying? And the one says, step back. The wind calms down. And the son just smiles. Gives him respect. Love. Warmth. And soon enough, the man says, hmm. You know, it's a little warm for a jacket. And the moral of the story is that, yes, we all have our messages. We all have those things we wish to convey to those that we love. But if we do so with force, we are guaranteed to only make their defenses ironclad. But if we can learn to instead come from a place of peace, like in the chasm, and let our respect of others and their lived experience be followed by pure love, acceptance, regardless even of who they are or how extreme we believe them to be. To find that only then, not only could our messages come across, but something more important happens. The way in which we speak changes. Instead of from a holier-than-thou, righteous place, we become more able to speak in an, an empathic tone. You know, outside of uh, not being able to tolerate intolerance, which itself is intolerance. But just like the sun, I believe that each of us especially when we walk the combat of wellness, when we build the land under our feet, when we find our centers growing, then the strength of our light, of our positivity, if you will, begins to grow, begins, becomes more and more powerful. In a world where strength and confidence are mistaken as ways to judge someone, Instead, we become able to judge others by their empathy, their ability to understand and relate to multiple points of views, instead of just shouting angrily against the others, whatever they may be. And with that, I wish you luck in your own path of becoming a son for those around you regardless of how close-minded, stressed out, and panicky they may become. Good luck.